Hello everybody, it's me, Allison. Today I'm making another video, duh. And this video is going to be my top 20 favorite LPS molds slash types. This basically means the particular animal or type of LPS. This can include short haired cats, gorillas, iguanas, ladybugs, and more. I've been wanting to make this video for a little while now, so it's finally time. We'll be going in order from my least favorite to my all time favorite. Keep in mind I haven't experienced all the LPS in the world and there's still more to discover. So this is based on my personal experience with the LPS I have. Keep in mind that this is based on mold and type only, not the design or color or patterns of the LPS. Some of these designs I think are pretty average and some of them I adore, but we're not talking about that today, we're talking about their molds. I'm basing this mostly on how much I like to play with the LPS and how fun it is. But other factors like how cute they look, their structure, and how close fit on them can play a part in this too. So let's get started. My number 20 pick is the monkey. I really like the monkey LPS, I enjoy playing with them, I like their little hair on top, and I think they look pretty cute. The only problem with them is that their tails really stick out and can get in the way, especially in terms of displaying my pets. The monkey is pretty low on the list because in terms of playing they are kind of average to me, but I still enjoy them. For my number 19 pick, I have the Maine Coon Cat or Destiny Cat. I'm honestly not really sure what to even call these anymore, so I just call them Destiny Cats so people know what I'm talking about. I enjoy playing with these a lot, and I love their look and their structure. I love how the pot is up, it makes them look more elegant in a way. I love their head shape, and I just think they're super adorable. The only reason she's so low is because there are other LPS that I like playing with more. My number 18 pick is the Squirrel. Squirrel, skunk, same difference. I really like these little guys. I think they're super cute. I enjoy playing with them and clothes actually fit on them like a charm. The one thing that I don't like is that when you pick them up, their whole body kind of droops because of how heavy their tail is. And it can also get pretty easy to chip on its face. There were a couple white chips on her face before and paint marks from her tail scratching it. Their heads are also pretty small, but other than that, I adore them. At number 17, we have the infamous short hair cat. Of course, these are really, really easy to put clothes on. I like their structure, very simple, very straightforward, and very cute. I don't enjoy playing with them too much, which is why they're so low on the list, but I really like their structure and how cute they look. They can be fun to play with, but overall, kind of average. At number 16, we have the floppy eared slash lop eared bunny. I'm not really sure what to call them, but who cares? These are super adorable and super cute. I love their little faces and their big eyes and how squished they look. So cute, so adorable. I love their structure and they're super fun to play with, with their little hair. They're just so adorable. The only reason this is so low is because there are others that I like more. At number 15, we have the Dachshund. I really like these ones because of how cute they look. I do enjoy playing with them as well. Clothes are relatively easy to put on them, although their ears can be a little bit difficult, but I just love their structure so much and they're super fun to play with. Also, I don't understand why people call it a dash hound. That always seemed weird to me. And number 14, we have the frog. It is unfortunate that clothes don't fit on these guys too well. I do enjoy playing with them, although it's kind of difficult, like where do my fingers go? But the thing that wins me over with these guys is just their structure and how cute they look. Look at their little eyes or their big eyes, I guess I should say, their little smile and just their overall structure and their little feet. They look so cute. Like if I was an LPS, I'd love to date a frog. And number 13, we have the pig. The pigs are really fun to play with and they're pretty good for clothes too. I also really love their cute little faces, their eyes, they're so cute. It is a bit difficult with skirts and other clothes like that because they're sitting, but they're just so adorable, so cute, and I really admire them. Personally, I think pigs are very underrated. At number 12, we have the pelican. This is my only pelican and I got him like a month ago, so I don't have too much experience, but gosh, I already love these guys so much. I love playing with them. It's so addicting. I love pelicans. They're so derpy looking with their big old beaks. So cute. And I love their pose, which is probably what won it its place on this list. Its pose is so majestic. I love how its wings are out like that. They look so confident and cool and I just love them. Also, clothes kind of fit on this dude. You can check out my video in the description below where I talk about underrated molds, big five pets, and over for all the big five controversy if you'd like to see what I mean. At number 11, we have the Persian. Now, keep in mind that there are actually two Persian molds, but the one that I'm talking about is this one. I enjoy these ones the most. They look the most sophisticated in my opinion. They look very fancy, very elegant. I just love playing with them, their paws. They just look so cute and I love them so much. Clothes are a minor struggle, but for the most part, they fit like a charm. Starting off our top 10 countdown, we have the butterfly. 
Butterflies were actually originally going to be higher on the list, but there are others that I like more, which is why she's down here. But that's okay because I still love these guys so much. I think they look super cute except for that nightmare fuel. But I do really like the wings. I think they look so cute and pull the whole design together. I love the structure and their little antenna. The only problem is, well, this nightmare fuel. The wings can easily rub off on the back of the head and cause there to be some paint marks or chips, but other than that, I adore these little guys. They look so cute and they have so many butterflies out there as well. My number nine pick is the cockatoo. I adore cockatoos. I love their structure, how cute they look. They're so adorable. I love their little hair. I love their wings and their tail feathers. There's not a single thing about these guys that I dislike, except that it's hard to put bows on them and they have no ears. But they're still so cute and totally deserve their spot on this list. At number eight, we have the Bonbon bon Cat. I love Bonbon bon Cats. They are so cute. I love their big old eyes. They're so adorable. I just love their faces so much. Their structure is so cute and I love playing with them as well. They're just so perfect. This also makes them my favorite LPS cat. At number seven, we have one that I truly believe is underrated, the Hippo. Hippos are literally some of the cutest LPS ever, don't at me. These guys are so adorable. I love their little ears, their big old nose. They're so thick and chunky and I love thick and chunky LPS. It makes them all more fun to play with. And I love this foot. It's very interesting, kind of odd, but I love it because it's unique and it just makes them look so cool and confident in a way. I love playing with these guys and they're so unique. My number six pick is the Bulldog. I love the chunky LPS. It makes them all more fun to play with for some reason. I love these ones. They're probably the chunkiest in the LPS kingdom. They got like beady little eyes, but it makes them so cute and innocent looking in a way. I just love the Bulldogs so much. They're so adorable. This guy was pretty close to being higher on the list, but I chose some others to replace him. At number five, we have the Boxer. These ones are literally some of the cutest LPS I've ever seen. Look at their faces. They look so innocent and cute. Look at their big old eyes, so adorable. And they got Cheeto dust on the back of their heads. Most of all, I love playing with these guys. They're so addicting to play with. I love just walking this one around and bobbling it all the time, like every single day. It's so fun. They got these stubby little legs and that stubby little tail and their ears are just so addicting to feel for some reason. I just love them. And this guy also starts the top five countdown. My number four pick is the Cocker Spaniel. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of the Cocker Spaniels. I mean, my first one's head literally feels like rubber. It's super squishy. But now, I just adore them. I love playing with them. They're so fun. Sometimes I just grab them and start playing with them and start making a story with them. And it's just ridiculous how much I love these guys. I think they look so elegant with their paw up and their ears are so fluffy, fluffy ears. I just love their pose. I love them so much. I also like their nose. I don't know why. It's a pretty average nose, but whatever. It's cute. And starting off with our top three, we have the Great Dane. Trust me when I say this, it was a very hard decision between this and the Cocker Spaniel competing for the number three spot, but this one came through. I love Great Danes. I only have one and I really need to get more and I really want more. They're very heavy and they're very enjoyable to play with. I just, I love them so much. I love their structure. They look so like confident and not gonna lie, they do kind of look hot. And again, this was a pretty hard decision. Now here's where the decision making became like mission impossible. It was between two molds, but I finally chose one for the number two and number one spot. So for number two, we have the horse. Opius horses are literally like the best thing ever. Okay, don't at me. This is so beautiful and elegant looking. I love the horses so much. People have said they have a problem with it standing up because of this one hoof, but Cocker Spaniels are not innocent. And also I don't even understand that because I've had like 12 horses and none of them have ever had that problem. It's pretty easy to put clothes on these guys as well. They're just so cute. I love their faces and their little, their little noses. It's so cute. I love these so much. And whenever there's an opportunity, I always try to use a horse in one of my videos, which is why you pretty much always see a horse. Now, before we get to our number one pick, I'd like to go through some honorable mentions. These didn't quite make it on the list for a number of reasons. First off, we have ourselves a Basset Hound. I really like these guys because they're pretty fun to play with and super cute and adorable looking. The one thing is that their ears are pretty fragile and this one actually touches the ground so it can get like chipped. Next one is this Maltese or whatever it is. I really like these ones. I think they're pretty cute, but they have like these holes in their ears and they're a little bit strange looking. Next up, we have the Iguana. I love these guys so much. They look so, so cute. I love these ones. They're so cute and short and stubby and so pure. Next one we have is the German Shepherd. These ones were super close to making it to the list, but unfortunately I just don't like playing with them as much as the others. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints. And finally, we have the Peacock. I've only ever had two, but they're so fun to play with. They're so cute. They got these giant foreheads, but I still love them to death. And now for our number one pick. 
Again, this was a super hard decision. I had to choose between this and the horses. It was a really, really, really difficult decision, but I finally decided. St. Bernard's are my all-time favorite LPS mold. These guys have the cutest little faces ever. Don't at me. These ones are so cute. I love their short, stubby little legs and their structure besides the tail being pretty close to the head. Like, yeah. But other than that, I just think they're so cute and adorable. I love them and they are so addicting to play with. So much fun. I've always been a fan of St. Bernard's and I plan to collect all of them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my top 20 favorite LPS molds. Let me know some of your favorite LPS molds out there and some that you think are underrated. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this list. Thank you for watching and goodbye! My number 9 kick- My- <coughs> My number 9 kick- <coughs> Why did I do it again? My number 9 pick is the cockatoo- Why is she all the way over here? My number 9 pick and there's an airplane. My number 9 pick is the cock- My number 9 my number nine kick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I swear. I used to not be a very big pan, big pan, a very big pan of the Cocker Spaniels. I used to not be a very big, <laughs> don't make the same mistake again. I used to not be a very big, big, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I quit. I quit, goodbye, thank you for joining me at All Pills Sauce TV. At first I wasn't a very big pan, big pan. <laughs> at first I wasn't a very big, <laughs> I can't anymore, I can't. I used to not be a very big... I can't. I can't. I have to change it. I have to change it. I can't. I also like their nose. I don't know why. It's a pretty average nose. <laughs>